While the world of TikTok is filled with talented individuals showcasing their prowess and gaining a following, there is a side to this world which is rather dark. Many times, we see TikTokers getting into disputes, feuds, and drama, sometimes just to gain more following or sometimes just to gain more attention from the people. Many of the famous TikTokers also indulge in such activities just to become famous or to get extra screen time. While some indulge in drama, the others generally have a fake personality, like showing off their huge houses, which sometimes they do not even own, boasting about their luxurious lifestyle and telling the world how privileged they are. With all sorts of things that might tell the followers that a certain TikToker is fake, let us dive into the TikTokers that have been revealed to be fake. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter this giveaway. It's really that simple simple. Number one, Charlie D'Amelio and Chase Hudson. Charlie D'Amelio is an American social media personality who has millions of followers on TikTok, an online video making and sharing app. Charlie began her career with dance. She started competitive dancing at the age of 10. When she got an opportunity to make and post dance videos on TikTok, she took advantage of that and made well-synchronized dance videos. This gained her a lot of popularity and she soon became a heartthrob. However, things are not always like they appear to be. It was rumored and later both confirmed that Charlie was dating Chase Hudson. Chase is also an internet personality who makes TikTok videos. He is also a well-followed artist with over 26 million followers. Both belong to the same talent agency, which is Hype House, a rather famous talent agency amongst the TikTok community. As both were in a relationship, many disputed by saying that they were doing it for the fame and extra attention. A new drama emerged out of nowhere when Charlie tweeted something rather peculiar. She tweeted, I hope she is worth it. Many began questioning Charlie about Chase's whereabouts. He denied this and said that the only reason why Charlie is doing this is that he kissed Nessa, a fellow TikToker. What truly makes this feud a rather fake act pulled off by the two is the fact that later both apologized to each other and did an Instagram live to explain the situation to their followers. Chase, in one of his posts said, I just wanted to come on here and apologize to all you guys for the way things unfolded online. I should have just done my part and kept it offline. He went on to say that he apologized to Charlie previously and privately. The main question arises that if both had gotten into such a huge argument, how did they patch up so easily? Even if they did, what was the reason for them to do an Instagram live together? Many of those who follow the TikTok app say that they did this to gain following and attention. They first started a feud on a petty issue to gain the media's attention, and once they thought that things were getting out of hand, both apologized for their actions. This was a drama that they have made up themselves, thus making them fake TikTokers who conduct such activities to gain more followers. 2. Baby Ariel's Fake Freckles While makeup changes a person's entire look, sometimes it is nothing but a facade. We have seen many TikTokers using the photo editing application called Photoshop. This app is a miracle in itself. It completely changes a person's look and conceals their flaws. That is why our favorite TikTokers always look pretty glammed up in their Instagram posts. This does create a sense of inferiority complex in those who are viewing their pictures, as this makes them criticize their flaws. This has been mentally taxing for a lot of people, as those who do not fit the societal beauty standards feel that they are isolated and that others are way prettier or pleasant looking than they are, thus arousing a feeling of guilt and hatred amongst people. While many call TikTokers such as Lauren Gray and Addison Rae to be fake due to their Photoshop pictures, there are a new set of people who also criticize Baby Ariel. We often see this beautiful lady on TikTok making videos. She has over 34 million followers. In her videos, we either see her lip syncing to our favorite songs, singing melodies, and acting out certain scenes. With all this talent, she has gained a lot of respect from her followers, yet some bash Baby Ariel for maintaining a fake personality. There were rumors of her using autotune to rectify her voice in her song. While this is a controversy, Baby Ariel gets a lot of hate due to her freckles. Many say that she pulls off fake freckles, which is a wrong tactic. Why? As Baby Ariel in a video showed that she makes fake freckles out of makeup. Many say that these fake freckles misrepresent the Caucasians and people who have real freckles. Many say that doing this is ethically inappropriate. However, we see Baby Ariel repeatedly coming on screen with fake freckles, which showcases her fake personality. 3. Thomas Petro Thomas Petro is a TikToker and a YouTuber who is also famous amongst the younger generation, coming from the background where he started his career on the internet by making vines. 
The man has a lot of experience in the field as he started his career at the age of 13. But with time, he has gotten into a lot of feuds with his friends and opponents, thus gaining the extra notorious attention. Again, the famous talent agency The Hype House represents the individual, and often it is a marketing tactic to either get in a dispute or to promote a specific brand. One of the disputes, which were because he wanted to gain a fake following, was with Bryce Hall. Funnily, both have been amazing friends and have shot several TikTok and YouTube videos together. The public was shocked to see the two of them fighting on a petty issue. Bryce Hall started his career from You Now at the age of 15. This was a live streaming site. Just like Thomas, he also made a Vine channel and started posting 30 second long videos. Later, he showcased his talent on TikTok. He also has a YouTube channel just like his former friend Thomas. Both young individuals belong to two different marketing and talent agencies. While Thomas is a permanent member of the Hype House, Bryce is a member of the Sway House. As much as the public knows, the two agencies have completely different marketing marketing tactics, and ways to handle their members. Both agencies also compete regularly. Bryce found himself in hot water when he tweeted against the Hype House agency. This can be considered as a tactic to gain attention from the followers. He tweeted saying that the Hype House makes content that is full of lies. People thought that Bryce was just faking it to create a new drama on TikTok. But the real drama began when Thomas tweeted in response to this, attacking the Sway House, Bryce's talent agency. Getting things even murkier, Thomas said that the Sway House made the same content as the Hype House, thus nobody should bash them for it. After tweeting this, Thomas publicly unfollowed Bryce on the social media platforms. Unfollowing and following are carefully looked at by the public. If a certain star follows another, the public says that the two stars were acquaintances, but if the two unfollowed each other, it means that they have gotten into an argument. Sooner or later, things do get public and eventually, people start making news out of these issues. Some celebrities like to cash these situations by getting into feuds and eventually gaining popularity from it. Even after such a huge fight, we will see Thomas going back to Bryce in a few more days, thus ending the argument. This way, both will again become good friends and after a while, we will see them in another fight. This tells us that Thomas is a fake TikToker who has done this as a marketing and publicity stunt. 4. Maya and her fake kidnapping story Maya is another YouTuber who came into the limelight after we saw her faking her kidnap story. She is not a very known TikToker and has only 4 million likes on her account, but this could be one of the reasons why she wanted the extra following and attention. On a fine day, her followers saw her posting a video regarding her kidnapping. In this video, she told her followers that she was getting threatened. To fully pull off this drama, she changed her bio into a Morse code. When few of her followers converted the Morse code, they found out that it translated to help me. This seemed slightly weird to her followers, but they could connect the dots and said that Maya was in fact in great danger. Then, after a while, she posted a video on her account regarding a man who was trying to kidnap her, but the video seemed shady. In it, a man was roaming around her. The video was short, but it gave out signs that the man had kidnapped Maya. But due to this peculiar video, many of her followers started unfollowing her. On seeing this, she later clarified the whole drama and said that she had faked this kidnapping to continue conduct a social experiment. This explanation was not sufficient for her followers, and thus this fake drama changed the situation as it gave her a negative outcome, where instead of gaining followers, she lost many from her account. While the public would disagree on the fact that why would anyone fight to gain followers, but many of the social media stars like those mentioned above get into feuds and dramas to engage attention from the media and the public. Once they do this, they benefit from it as their followers increase. Eventually, after getting those benefits, they try to resolve the dispute. However, all this tells us that these personalities are very fake and in future, we can expect followers to focus on original content. With this, we would like to wrap up our video. Thank you all for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.